Welcome to a Modern Monday quick play of Battlezone 98 Redux. Now, anyone who played Battlezone in the 90s will know how damn good this game is. This isn't the Battlezone from 1980 made by Atari, the arcade game. This is the recreated version by Activision in 1998. And it was a phenomenally good multiplayer game. It's a uh, real-time strategy game, but all viewed from the first-person perspective. And it's an alternate look at the space race, where the Americans and Russians used the space race as a cover-up to send military into space and take over the moon and take over other planets. In the single player campaign you find like artifacts on the moon and then you go to Mars and find something else and then it takes you to one of Jupiter's moons. It's brilliant. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to play this multiplayer because that is where this game really does shine. So I need to create a room and the room name uh, is going to be this with proper grammar because then my friend will know where to find me. He will recognize the room, <laughs> I'm sure, based on that. And if you are familiar with Robocop, you'll notice that. Oh, well, I need to create a private room. I don't want Mr. Wobble Spanky in there. How do I. How do I get. Uh, I don't want. I want a, um, I want a bloody private room. Try that again. That's better. That wasn't there the first time, so you can't blame me for that. All right, we're in a private, we're in a private room. Um, where is everybody else? Where is my friend? And what I'll probably do is using the power of editing is I'll cut past this bit you won't notice a thing. I'll take you straight to the game. It'll be smooth as silk. Fuck! Okay, get various maps for multiplayer. You can either have strategy... Uh, strategy? Strategy. Strategy or death match. Um, and they come in different sizes. And sometimes the smaller maps are the best. Especially if you've only got two players. I think the moon is quite a small... Yeah, we've got... Here we go. Moon, size, small. Uh, that is a um, strategy map. That's... Probably a good one to play. Lost the moon. We lost. We just lost the moon, gentlemen. All right, here we go. Moon sink join comstat barracks on. I'm gonna change my vehicle because I want something which is a bit quicker than that first thing. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I love it. Look at that. What a beast. And all the graphics in this version have been completely remastered. And I'm playing it in high resolution. 1920 by 180 P. P for... Productivity and... Pizzazz. Penis. That is an NSDF M183A1 howitzer. Ready to roll. All right, look at this, look at the sky. We've got galaxy, we've got the Milky Way, and we've got the Earth. Oh, look at it, it looks splendid. It's like being on the moon. If you remembered playing this game in the past, then you can probably remember all these textures were just gray as hell. And now they're awesome. Right, so in this game, we get these units. So this is a recycler, and I have to find a geezer to put this recycler on. And then that is its power source. It keeps smashing into me. That is quite disconcerting. Uh, all this stuff you can see here is we have to get um, uh, units to come and pick that up to use as fuel in the recycler. It's like scrap. That is what it's called, in fact. It's called scrap. There's a lot of scrap on the moon. Much more than you'd ever expect there to be. Plentiful abundances of scrap. What's that? Oh my god, I can't remember that being there on the original game. Oh, where can I find a geezer? Bloody hell. That's a... What is that? That's like a... 
spider embedded into the landscape. How? Where's he going? I remember, I don't even need to see a geezer, do I? I can just tell it to go to a geezer and it'll go and find one. There we go, that, that's a geezer. What the hell am I doing? Up on the mountaintop, right. Tactical advantage. Also makes it a lot easier for other players to see where you are. So the aim of this game is to set up a Deploy. strong... Well, the aim is to destroy the other players. But you can set up a strong base around here. You can create um, turrets and the like. A bit like um, one of those turret defense tower games. But, oh my god. You're keen, aren't you? Jesus Christ. At least give me some time to set my base up. This is how you play them. You absolute asshole. See, of course you can do this, you can just dive in straight in and kill the enemy if the enemy, that is me, has been too slow in setting things up. So once, you're, uh, <laughs> once your tank gets blown up, you are out on your own. And you can snipe of the other player if you're careful. And if you snipe of them, you can take them out in one shot. Oh, I've got sniper bullets! I need some sniper ammo! Damn it! <laughs> that little light you see on the front of the tank, you can sniper them and they are then gone. But I've got no ammo. I have to just chase them down with my handgun. Oh, <laughs> come on, you can't get me. I might be taking out this guy. He's just trying to sniper me, isn't he? Snipered me, he got out of his craft. Lost. Right, I need to find my bloody tank. Mm. Well, I'm 800 meters away from my recycler. So, what's going to happen here is. Well, let's see if I can build something. Let's build um, uh, a turret. Construction started. If, he can, if, if I can get a turret built before he takes out my recycler, it might be able to provide some form of defense for it. Building complete. Alright, defense. Badger here. Okay, I'll leave him where he is. I'll get the recycler to build a scavenger. And then the started. scavenger can come and pick me up. Building complete. Right, utility. Scavenger. scavenger here. Come and get me. On my way. So you, you don't need to be next to these um, units for them to um, be useful. Recycler you can just here. tell them what to do from wherever you are. Uh, let me build a, another turret to protect the recycler. Building complete. So if he if he'd taken out my recycler, then the uh, game would have been over. Job done. Right. I'll get. So the little man who was driving that gets out, and then I can get in. How do I even get in? I can't remember. Oh, I just walk into it. Superb. Turret deployed. Right. Let me get back to my recycler. Let's get the recycler, recycler to build here. a another scavenger. Now the scavengers go out and they pick up um, scrap, and then they bring the scrap back to the uh, I need a silo. I think I, I think you need, I need a silo for them to. No, no, I think they can just build it straight back, straight back to the. Recycler, actually. You can build silos that you can dot around, and then the scavengers can take scrap back to the silo, or I think they can take it straight back to the recycler. So let's cancel that. Recycler. recycler here. I could do with some sort of yeah, scout. I'll have a scout, because I don't want to be in this bloody scavenger. I need to be in something I can shoot with. This is terrible. How do I even get out of Building here? Complete. God, Microsoft has destroyed my scavenger! Recycler! Recycler here. Build me a scout! Construction started. Turrets, come on! Come on, turrets! No! Do something! I'm gonna die again, aren't I? I'm in a bloody scavenger and I'm being attacked to buggery. Get out of here! Get the hell out of here! Yeah, I'm out again. This time, I might have be able to sniper him. So, that would be nice, wouldn't it? 
Right, recycler. Recycler, recycler is a bit buggered. And I'm dead. There we go. <laughs> Killed! Shot in the face. So this is how good Battlezone is. Because it's just it's just like a gritty game. It's real time it combines real time strategy and first person action perfectly to make it probably one of the most exciting real time strategy jet games you can get your hands on. Uh, I'm going to try and play another game. I think we can do that. Okay, we're back again with a different map. Now, this game is uh, it's currently on offer on Steam. It's about 10 quid. So, I recommend getting it. I mean, you can play Battlezone, the original one, on some community servers, and you can download it off Tinternet for free, but it's worth getting this just for the higher resolution textures and... There's a lot of work gone into making this better. Well, not, not, I mean, just graphic wise, the gameplay is untouched because it's such a good game to start with. All right, I need to get uh, some scavengers going. I'm quicker off a mark this time. I need scavengers. I also need uh, some. Ah, I don't know. I need something else. I need a scout. Scouts can fire and they can go and find out what the hell is going on. There's two methods to this. You can either just dive in straight away and attack the shit out of your rivals. Or you can start to build stuff up like so and take a more diplomatic and tactical approach. Whoa, look at that! There's Jupiter! I love that skyline. Yeah, I've always wondered what it's like to be next to Jupiter on a moon, and this gives you a pretty good idea. The sky is just completely filled by the planet. That, how amazing would it be to be on this moon and have that above your head, just stretching forever into the sky? It'd be bloody amazing, wouldn't it? Anyway, back to the game. Uh, let's get some turrets going. See, I am more equipped this time. Much more equipped. I also want I want some more scavengers because started. the more scavengers you can get to start with, the more material you can get Building coming in, complete. the more stuff you can build quicker. So it is essential Recycler to have here. scavengers Construction started. on the go. So I mean, if you if you build as many scavengers Building as you complete. can, then that is a good starting position. Also, there's, a, there's only limited scrap, so if you start to run out of scrap in your area, you need to build silos further away, which can... The scavengers can put the ammo... The, this, the salvage into. Where are they? What are they firing at? <laughs> yes. You're going down, boy. You can't attack me this time. I am kitted out. Alright. You can, you can build missiles. You can build factories that can build a whole heap of other things. It just, it just goes on and on. There's loads of depth to this game. Uh, okay, I'll build another turret. And I'll put another turret over here to protect the recycler. Whoa, 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 who's firing? Oh, he's got a sniper going. Alright. All right. That's the thing. You can disable snipers in this game if you like. Because otherwise, you can just stand on this hill, <laughs> hill like up there and take... The, the, um, the pilot's out, and then you've got a craft left like this. Dead. Right, I've got two scouts following me, so we should be able to go and find Microsoft. And destroy the living shit out of him. Michael! I know where you are. Actually, I don't. I haven't got a clue where you are. I'm going to find you, Vaughn Michael. Riding along in my automobile. The baby beside me. She's been killed. Ah, Microsoft is trying to get this scrap. Whoa, we've got some enemies inbound. <laughs> I can't fire, but my uh, scouts are doing a pretty fine job. Why can't I fire?
I'm going to get a better ship, which, which allows me to fire. Whoa! Bloody hell! Whoa! <laughs> I do not want me. Oh shit! I don't want to get over here, do I? It's quite scary. This would be a great game for virtual reality. Oh, I'm stuck in a lava pit. Can I get out? The walls are so high. I can't get out. Clearly, this isn't on Ganymede. Because there is no ice on this moon. It's lava, baby. Offensive unit lost. I'm going to die because I've just decided to go across it in a ship which obviously can't take it. I'm bloody stuck in here. How do I get out of here? Oh, like that. Driving up the high sides. As it would happen. Alright. Get back to my base now. Come on, come on. Okay. Um... I need to build some more scouts. Construction started. And then I think I'm just gonna head on over and fire like some crazy bastard. Standing by. Right, let's go and find Hello. him. Follow the leader. Now where was he? He was over here somewhere, wasn't he? No, not back over there, not in the lava field! Oh god no! Come on, you can do it! Come on, baby, you can do it! <laughs> it's so close! Oh my god. Oh no, no, you followed me! Oh, you both followed me, you absolute buffoons! I've killed us all! Alright, let's try and get out of here again. This is not a cohesive battle zone experience, and I do apologise for that. There we go. That looks slopey. Come on, man! Come on! Oh, give me a break, please! I am out of here, baby. I am still stuck inside the volcanic area. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> you must be kidding me. Woohoo! Back in the field. Back of the net. Right, I need to go and find... I think my units are probably lost. They probably can't follow me. Have some of this, you salvaging bastards. Of course, every time you blow up another ship, it deposits salvage on the floor. So, you can collect that. Being attacked by Michael's Warning. turrets. Shit. Am I falling in the lava? Oh, God, please, no. Not this again. Okay, you rejoin me as I've been thrown into the sky yet again, and I'm on the attack. I have just built a constructor, which isn't proving very useful because um, I haven't been able to build anything. Who's that guy? Oh, that's my guy because I've just been picked up by my ship. Warning. Damage critical. Okay, I need the recycler to build me some repair. Because this craft is pretty buggered, so... Building complete. We'll wait two seconds, there we go. There is the repair coming from the recycler. I'll go and pick that up. I am revitalized, somewhat. Ah! Damn it! God damn it! I'm going to sniper the shit out of you if I don't fall down this bloody hole again! Oh, I'm going down, on. I'm going down. Right, sniper. I'm going to take you down. Base under attack. 
Only three sniper bullets, I think. Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead again! Okay. One last chance. One last chance. Unit lost. Oh, my recycler is destroyed. There's nothing I can do. I am screwed. I can take you out. Yes, I've taken him out. Right. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Right, there we go. That marks the end of my Battlezone play. I fully recommend getting this version. It is spot on. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.